Hello everyone, welcome back. And this will be a general weekly reading for the sign of Sagittarius for the week of February 27th through March 6th of 2023. And I would also like to give a very special thank you to all of you who have subscribed to my channel, as well as given it a thumbs up and left comments. Thank you very much for doing that. It is greatly appreciated. Ace of Wands, new beginning. Opportunities are knocking. You're feeling more energetic, new career opportunities, creative projects on the move. You're on the move this week. And the Knight of Cups. Wow, very nice. Uh, making a travel plans for yourself, maybe taking a quick trip somewhere. It's usually by boat, or this could be a relationship coming to light, you know, budding to light, puppy love. You know, you're starting to feel more energetic. Maybe going places that you haven't gone in a long time and you run into somebody. Very nice. The Ten of Cups. New beginning, happy home, happy life. Relishing in each other, enjoying each other. You know, you're bringing things around that you've wanted to do for a long time together. So it looks, looks like a relationship coming into your life. You know, you're developing long-lasting relationships, family, friends, co-workers, team members, neighbors. You're feeling more uh, emotionally secure. And if this is... Uh, a new love coming into your life, it's the real McCoy. It's going to last for a long time. You're going to make each other happy. And the Page of Cups. So very nice surprise. New opportunity coming in. You know, invitations are in the mail, that sort of thing. Maybe you're getting an invitation from a friend that you haven't seen for a while, you know, come on over for the weekend, that sort of thing. Sometimes you're even too stubborn for your own good, so you might want to think about taking that invitation, have a bit of enjoyment in your life that you haven't had for a while. And the Nine of Pentacles. So you're okay with being alone right now. You're quite stable. Things are going your way. You have a little more spending money in your pocket. You're feeling a little more comfortable in your own skin. You know, sometimes you get lonely, but you're not alone. You're just doing okay. You can take care of yourself. And you present that to the world. And the High Priestess. Yeah. Talking to somebody, perhaps this week, somebody that understands you, knows a little bit about you and your family life, past as well as present. And you're having a heart-to-heart -heart talk to them. Perhaps this is somebody that has you haven't talked to for a long time in the family. Maybe somebody's come back around sort of thing. You get the scoop on what's going on in their life or what's been happening with them. And it makes you look at your life going, hmm. It's not so bad. You know, that sort of thing. Or if this is advice, maybe you're getting some advice from a, you know, a parent. You know, somebody who's been through a few things in their life and they're willing to share their experiences. And the nine of rods. So there you are, defending your decisions. You're, you know, laying the, laying the law down. You're not, you're not, um willing to bend anymore you've had to stand up for yourself you know longer questioning yourself you realize what you want to do in life what you're going to have in your life and that's that you're not you know going to say anything more about it you've battled off all the bad energies in your life you're carrying a big stick now and if this is what you know things are going to happen you're ready for it so there you are. And the Queen of Wands. So most definitely feeling more energetic. You're taking action. You're feeling more motivated with your life. 
you know, you've managed to make some executive decisions this week for yourself. And you're just feel like you're more flexible with different things. So like if somebody says a little more spontaneity, I guess is the word I'm looking for. You know, somebody says like, you know, why don't we go out somewhere? And then your answer is, well, sure, why not? There's just that sort of thing, you know, and, and you're managing a lot of areas in your life this week. You're starting on the right foot. You realize what you want to do, where you want to go, what you want to have. You have you're so determined that nothing's going to knock you off this path. And the three of rods. So there you are. You know, putting your ideas out into the world. You're a good solid foundation. You know, you have, you're not going to fall over. Things are going to eventually come around and, and take root. And the two of pentacles. Well, you've been balancing a few things in your life. This could be money and your job or your home life or both. And you're just trying to appease the world at this time. And the justice card. So this could be a court case that is coming around. Now, whether you're bringing it around or somebody's bringing it to you, this could be a divorce settlement for some of you as well. And for others, a legal contract of some sort, for sure. There's some sort of legal papers that you're needing to sign. And you're realizing that justice isn't blind. This is going to be a fair settlement. And this could be an old account that needed to be settled to you. Maybe somebody's owed you money for a long time. Or perhaps maybe you've owed somebody else. And you just want to clear the slate and move forward. You know, you want to be more... Uh, emotionally and mentally de independent. And the Knight of Swords. So there you go. You know, new beginnings. You're bringing travel into the picture. Maybe you're thinking of making um, some sort of trip. Maybe somebody's inviting you to go somewhere unexpectedly by plane this week as well. You know, it's unexpected. Uh, if this is friendships and relationships, they could be cooling down a little bit. Maybe you're not quite seeing eye to eye on a few things. So, you know, somebody says, well, come on over here and, and spend some time and have a look around over here just to clear your head and away you go for the week. That sort of thing. You're not really listening to anybody. You're making your own ideas of what you want to have in your life. And you realize that once once some things are said, you can't take them back. And now you're, you know, wandering that around in your mind. And the Ace of Pentacles. So, tangible goods, material gains. You know, this could be a very lucky week for you indeed. Things are sort of being just offered to you. It's just like out of, out of thin air. Like, it's being handed to you. It's a gift. And you're taking it. Like you're not one to just mess around. You know, maybe you've decided that your eyes are wide open this week. You can see the greener pastures. You realize which way you want to go on what path. And you're not going to be swayed off it. You're tempted. But you're not going to get swayed. You're not going to get, you know, somebody's not going to talk you into something that you're not willing to do yourself. You're not an easy mark. You know what's right and wrong, what you expect coming out of your life, what you're willing to have in your life. And you're just, you know, financially, you perhaps for some of you, you may need even get a financial advisor to guide you in your savings and that sort of thing. And you're realizing that I want to have more in the future, so maybe I actually need to talk to somebody. But we all have that little back thing in the back of the head going well you know do they know more than me well you went to them for a reason take their advice that sort of thing so you got some dreams coming in this week you know you're embarking on a whole new avenue in your life you have a, um, a vision and it will come about 
Now, if this is your dream job, you're reaching for it and you know it's going to be given to you because you're reaching for it. It's meant for you. All right, I'm going to shuffle and deal you an angel oracle card, but these are very positive cards. You know, you've had your bruises to get here. It hasn't been handed to you, but the universe now is paying it forward. All right. Schooling, study, and education helps your life's positive and personal growth at this time. The angels will guide you and help you with this process. Yeah, schooling, study, and education. All right. And on that note, I will say goodbye for now. And I will talk to you again next week. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy, and bye for now.